Now, weak-minded people will fall for that kind of stuff, and they know that, and that is why I believe that they do it. Now, after having come in contact with this certain person on the internet, whose name I am not going to mention for obvious reasons, this uh, young man flipped out and shot a load of people. Now, that's not acceptable. And as far as I understand, the uh, email conversations between the, that person who committed uh, that crime and uh, this person that I'm talking about is concerned, it doesn't seem that the police investigate that, neither in the Netherlands nor in the country where this particular person is. Again, I don't find that acceptable. If I uh, were working uh, for the police, I would have got those emails. I would have taken that person and interviewed him and found out what was said and what messages were sent and whether or not there was any connection between the emails that the two of them exchanged and the emails that this person's supporters exchanged with the person I'm talking about. I'm sorry to be so vague, but I have to be. I think that it's not acceptable in any shape or form to uh, invent ways to harm other people. God made man in his own image. God defends man. God loves man. Mankind. And if you are of mankind, God loves you. Now I know of course some people don't like the religious aspect, but they are hypocrites, like the Bible says, because they have a religion themselves. And that religion is Satanism. And their God is this guy here. Now, yeah, Helios, also known as Apollyon. From the Bible, he's the beast from the pit. And they worship him. And they use the signs and symbols of Helios on their channels, on the internet, on their websites, on the names that they use, on their logos, to identify one another. And they all stick together like glue. If it was as easy uh, for every man to, uh, to uh, appreciate what it is that I can see, you would see it as, as plain as tar and feathering. They use the same signs and, and logos and they all do the same thing. And they specialise in stressing people out. They just keep chipping away until hopefully that person who has a religion that does not agree with their satanic uh, beliefs uh, either stops um, promoting their religion on the internet or perhaps does something to themselves or perhaps does something to other people. It's not acceptable. Um, this is psychological warfare. It's done with malicious intent and there's certain laws that fall within this but the police do nothing. They don't do anything until something physical happens. Now if the person being harassed for instance is silly enough to freak out and go after that person, they are going to get into trouble. Not the person who has driven them to it. And you may have heard some of these people bragging and saying things to people, I made you do it. So in other words, they are accepting responsibility for what that other person has done. However, there's another aspect of law um, which takes into account when someone is pushed beyond control. But once again, that is also not taken into account. It is wrong to harm people in any way. And that includes psychologically. It's simply not acceptable. And when the evidence starts building up that the reason that they're doing these things is in order to cause stress, in order to cause physical harm or to have a cause and effect where that person may harm themselves or may harm others, again, that is not acceptable. And that is something that we can lobby our governments about. So those of you who agree uh, with this, I would like you to write to your governments. I would like you to start open debates about this, taking into account the scientific, as that word again, facts based upon uh, psychology. Because all of these people seem to think that they're experts on psychology, which means that, of course, they are inferring that they know 
what kind of damage they are committing and therefore they are admitting their guilt. I think it's time it stopped and I think it's time the governments took responsibility if they really do care for their populations. So I'm asking you to join me in lobbying the government uh, both here in the UK uh, and the USA and whatever country you're in if this kind of stuff is happening and put in a stop to it using the law and using science which is accepted within law. Perhaps um, if we could all get together and get the cash together we could start bringing this matter to court and then let's see what happens. And then of course you know the stress will be on the other party but that is of course because if the governments decide that they will have to legislate and make that into a criminal offence, well, it's a criminal offence and they should know better. And there are laws which step over the mark into this kind of thing. But like I said, the police are not doing anything about it because their hands are tied for certain reasons. So let's untie their hands because I don't think it's right that anyone should make threats against anyone else regardless of their age or their sex or their beliefs or anything else. It's just not acceptable to do that kind of stuff. So maybe you don't want to join in on this, maybe you do, but your comments regardless and an opening of debate on this, if you can open this debate and keep this debate going, then you will find that things will start to change because we will create movement where there's been stagnation. And I will be doing it in the name of Jesus. And I'll be asking you to join me.